Hey there everyone, welcome back. We are going to be doing some more Gen 6 RNG. We're going to be looking at the starters slash stationary Pokemon this time. And uh, I'll be teaching you how to get that that stationary Pokemon. Which is actually not as bad as others. You, you don't have to worry about Tiny MT in this, in this case, because Tiny MT would affect like Encounter Slot and stuff like that, and Sync. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. We the important thing to know about Gen Six is that every time you advance, the the frames go up by two instead of one or multiple. In the case of like Gen Seven, it's always two. What this means is that you either will only be able to hit odd seeds or only be able to hit even seeds, and this is makes it a little bit more tough on on uh, Citra. Because you won't know whether or not you're even or odd because of how the RNG tool works for that. If you are on a 3DS, every time you advance, you'll go up and you'll, you'll know right away whether you're even or odd. So this makes it a little bit more difficult. However, it's still possible. And then for other RNG types, you'll know whether you're, you, you'll be able to control whether you're even or odd. Like, whenever you're going into the item bag, whenever you exit the item bag, you can manipulate whether you're even or odd. So that's that's good news. So so that won't be a problem in the future. But for starters, it's a little bit trickier. Also, the delay is a little unstable. So we're going to get into it. Um, now, I've left it running on this screen here, and my RNG tool was actually uh, frozen on me, but we'll update it. So you can see the frames actually advance on the title screen. So we're like way out there. We don't, we're not going to be using this. One of the great things about Gen 6, though, is that... If you hit B on the title screen, look at the initial seed. When you re-enter the title screen, you get an entirely new initial seed. So this is especially great for starters, because you don't like your initial seed? No, that's fine. Just go ahead and put in a new one. Just go ahead and go to the title and put in a new one. Um, so the reseeding is fairly fast. Anyways, I've already got the tool open, and you can see it. I'm on... We're obviously we're on X. We've got the initial C that we just got here. Shiny value. All standard stuff. And then starters, Chespin. Chespin has a question mark next to it because the delay is a little unstable. Um, it's it's a lot easier for something like the Kanto starters you get later on or in Oras. Those starters are pretty stable. But here we go. We got our seed. Uh, we don't have to worry about any timelines or anything because there's no timelines to make. It always advances by two. Shiny only. Let's go. Uh, the problem with XY is that you have to go through that whole cutscene first before you, like, where you have to give them your nickname and everything. So I would not aim for anything high, anything lower than like three thousand, to be honest. Um, and I'm usually end up on on odd, odd frame. So I'm going to ignore this seed. But the good news is that we can just go back. We can just get ourselves a new seed, a better seed, hopefully. And I'm I pause the pause the emulation right at the start because again I don't want to advance too many frames right from the get go. I mean, you know, you can if you want to, but I don't want to. All right, let's see. Uh, some good ones, but it is really good, but it, it's 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 even. And again, I usually end up odd. Uh, we could try. We'll, let's go for it. Let's go for it, because if we get it, great. But if not, it'll at least give us an idea of what our delay is. So 3666, but again, we might be... This might not work for us. So, now we just go, and we have to go through this whole cutscene. And I, I haven't found a good way to manipulate whether you're going to be even or odd for, for Citra on this part. But again, later on we'll be able to actually make it so that if you want to hit a hit an odd frame you can or if you want to hit an even frame you can it involves the menu and the fact that the menu is in 60 fps all right so here we go so yeah our target is 3666 so we just have to make it to there in time this is the final screen all right so here, here we are. This is the final screen for um, for 
X, Y. And this, this, so if you go beyond this point, you generate your Pokemon. And I'll, if you go down in the description, I'll have a list of all the final frames for various stationary Pokemon, like, you know, the fossils, the Kanto starters in, in XY, the, the starters, the, there's a lot of starters in, in ORAS, um, all the final screens for those. So that way, you know, this is the point where I have to actually hit the right frame. So, I've, I paused here just to make, just so I can let you all know this is the correct right frame. And let's go ahead and, oh, my RNG tool crashed. Nice. That's okay. We can reload it. All right. Here we go. Got it back. All right, so here we are at 2980. Great. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And so we're going to... Our target is, again... Our target is... 3666. All right, let's go. All right, we're at three, two, six, eight. We're almost there. I like to go a little bit slower the closer I get. But you can see, every time I hit the advance, we go up by one frame, and that's just how Citra does it. I'm not entirely sure why it's so different, but that's just how it is. And so, so we work around it. Three, four, five, six. Okay, great. So at, we're at the right frame. Hold A and advance. And that's it. So now we can go and look at our party menu. As soon as that pops up, it's in our party. So we can update our party menu. And here we go. We see our stats. We obviously did not get the chessman that we wanted. But that's okay. Because, again, there's, there, there's a delay. And I don't know what the delay is. So we're going to figure it out. So we'll put in... We're probably not too far off. We'll put in three, six, fifty, and go on. All right. So let's see. Can we just spot it really quickly? Uh, two is its HP value. So that's. Oh, I think we spotted it already. Two, eleven, four, seven, twenty-eight, twenty-four. Yeah, right. There's the right PSP. Um, so, and let me let me actually move this so you can you can see that window. But um. Yeah, so, first off, two things to note. This is negative 11 is, is our delay. Now, we've never seen an odd number like that, and this, what this indicates is that we went for an even frame, but our, we were hitting delay, we are hitting odd seeds, uh, odd frames only. So, that's a bummer. Uh, what we'll do to compensate is we'll go to negative, uh, 12 on it. So, negative, 280 minus 12 is 268, so we'll use that. And, yeah. There we go, 25. No, yes, it, now, it's a, now it's a plus one. That's okay. It, it's going to be that because, because we targeted a, a, an even frame. But, yeah. Uh, if we if we've set it as, if we set that as our target and we go back to it, then here we are. We're right. So, now we know that we should probably be hitting an odd frame. So that's first and foremost. Uh, second off, we, we got a delay. That's how you do it. If you can't see it right away, just feel free to wipe everything out and then put in the IVs in here and the, the nature and possibly hidden power. Either way, you'll find it and then you'll know where you went wrong. Make sure that you actually set your target frame correctly, so that way you'll know exactly how far off you are. But now we know. We're going to go ahead and we're going to restart this and get a new seed and then we will hopefully be able to hit, hit our delay this time. So again, when we hit this when we hit this page, we'll be able to get our seed. I pause the emulator so we won't advance just in case a good frame is close by. And we'll go ahead and put this in the tool and see what we can see.
and clear out all that, make it a shiny only. And okay, we got four, seven, five, eight. But again, we're pretty sure that we're odd. I don't see. There's nothing too close that excites me. Like one attack, one defense. I don't care about that. So again, we're gonna back out. Go back in. New f new frame. Uh, not new frame. New seed. And let's see if this one's any better. A little far away. This one is just way too close, and it's even. Uh, all right. Let's tr let's try it one more time. Since this is just a tutorial, I'm not looking for perfect. I'm just looking for good. All right. Here we are. This will do. Three, two, six, five. Which is which should be hittable. It's going to be a little close, but it should be hittable. And okay, let's go for it. There's not much to say. This is just how it is. And we're going to be doing the exact same process here. We're going to go through this this entirely long, too long cutscene. And then we're going to go and hit our frame. Yeah, and then we have to... Yeah, everyone gives you a nickname. But, you know, I'd, I'd rather just pick my own. Alright, so we should be fine. I see that the that the tool already froze, but it's okay. Uh, if if you can click through at a reasonably fast pace, you will um you'll get there well before three 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 thousand. Yeah, you see, with all that naming and everything, we still hit two six nine five. All right, our target again is three two six five. So we're gonna advance. Which is super close by. Now I'm gonna slow things down a little bit. All right, three, two, fifty. One, two, three, four, five. Three, two, six, five. I'm just gonna go ahead and double check, make sure I got it right. Three, two, six, five. Great. And go. And now we'll go ahead and we'll update now. Hmm. Okay, we didn't get it again, but that's okay. We can sometimes sometimes you don't get it right. Could be our delay is a little bit off again. So again, I'm gonna bring up our tool three two. We'll go three two sixty because there's prob we're probably close. All right, twenty eight twenty seven. Ah ha ha! <laughs> this time we were actually on an even delay, and again it. It's hard to say on this one. There's some things you can do, but they're all very complicated. And with a starter, unless you've got a frame that you really, really want to hit, uh, one thing you can do is you can compare and see when the tiny MTCs advance, and then the frame that they advance, that's usually whether you're odd or even. So you can use that. But for starters and for this, pr the purposes of this, I'll just retry this. So I'll go ahead and retry this a couple times and. I'll, uh, I'll put in the one that actually succeeds so you'll be able to see it. But that's the entire process here. You just want to hit your target frame and hit A. That's all there is to it. There, but don't worry, there's some really complicated RNG coming up. That'll be exciting. At least exciting for me, but others probably look at it and go, eh, not for me. So anyways, hang tight. I'll just bring up a screen when I'll bring up the, the, the attempt that actually succeeds. Okay, so our target this time is... 4073. I did another attempt and I found out that my delay was off even slightly. It was, it was actually it was actually 270 as opposed to 268. So hopefully this will be right. Hopefully I'm even. Let's give it a shot. All right. Now let's see what our stats are. All right. There we go. Got it this time. Woo! Now so yeah, that's that's all there is to it. It's just a simple matter of making sure you um, go ahead and hit the right frame and account for delay. The starters are again, the starters are significantly more difficult than the other types of RNG because there's such a strange delay. You hit yes, and then there's a ton of there's like, like yeah, there's like a hundred something frames before you actually generate the Pokemon. Whereas in the other case, it's like four frames. So so. 
just keep that in mind. In uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, it's not like this. You just go ahead and pick your pick your Pokemon and go. Um, so it's a lot easier to hit your delay there. But there we go. We'll show our our Chespin here. There you go. Nice shiny Chespin. But yes, that's 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 all there is to it. I'll put in the description the the final screens for for most everything I can think of, so you can use that. But we'll be getting into some of the other types of RNG, and those were all going to involve Tiny MT. Next up, we're going to be doing Wild RNG, and it's going to be very different from my guide on in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, well, Gen 7 games in general, because while you can use Honey for some locations, any location that has a Horde encounter, you can't use Honey to catch a single Pokemon, because if you do, it will summon a Horde instead. And since there's only a limited number of hordes, there's only three hordes per area, there's a lot of Pokemon that you cannot catch any other way. At least in XY. In 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 Oras, you can use Dexnav, which is again another complicated uh, endeavor. But these are pretty rewarding still, and you can get some really cool Pokemon. So we'll go over Wild RNG, uh, then I'll cover Horde RNG, uh, Breeding... And there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do. Fishing, of course, we got to do fishing. God, fishing is my most most popular video of all time, uh, for some weird reason. But we'll get into all that. And by the end of this, you should be able to get whatever Pokemon you want in either Gen Six games series, and really just be like, "Oh, I'm the best." But until then, I will see you all next time, and take it easy. <laughs>